Eastern Europe's comparative role in the worldwide crypto ecosystem has stayed surprisingly consistent over the last few years, representing just over 10% of global transaction activity between July 2021 and June 2022. Other regions have seen more volatility. In prior research, we have looked a lot at Eastern Europe's role in cryptocurrency-based crime, especially Russia. We've historically seen an outsized amount of ransomware and crypto-based money laundering in Eastern Europe, with the latter supported by a large ecosystem of risky cryptocurrency businesses. 80.2% of all cryptocurrencies received by Eastern Europe comes from addresses associated with risky or illicit activity more than any other region. Of course, the biggest news on Eastern Europe the past year has been Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 and the subsequent ongoing war. Chanelis' research showed that cryptocurrency markets likely aren't liquid enough to support mass-scale systematic sanctions evasion. Let's look at how Russian and Ukrainian crypto use changed as the war got underway. We can see that both countries saw an initial increase in cryptocurrency transfers in March 2022, soon after the war began on February 24. Trends diverge after that, though. Russia saw transactions grow and shrink within a relatively narrow range over the following months. Ukraine, on the other hand, saw a steady increase in cryptocurrency transfers from the outset of the war through June 2022. It's possible that Russian users' cryptocurrency activity was impacted by waves of restrictions placed on them by many services in response to the invasion. Our data suggests that stablecoin usage in Russia has increased since the war began. While some of that may be due to businesses embracing cryptocurrency for international transactions, it's also likely that some of the increase is due to ordinary Russian citizens trading for stablecoins in order to protect their assets' value. In January, stablecoins made up 42% of transaction volume on primarily Russian services. That share skyrocketed to 55% in February and 67% in March after the invasion. If crypto for import schemes are a new trend, it would open up many questions about how to make sanctions against countries like Russia more effective. Donations we have seen to the Ukrainian cause is one area where crypto has played an ambiguously positive role during this war. Since the conflict started, Cryptocurrency users have donated over $65 million in humanitarian aid to Ukraine across various blockchains, showing the positive effect cryptocurrency can have to unify people across the world. Learn more about cryptocurrency adoption in Eastern Europe in our blog post and worldwide in our upcoming 2022 Geography of Cryptocurrency report.